hi everyone in this video i am going to show you five different ways to copy a list into another list with an example all right so here are the five different ways so first we will see how to use a constructor to copy a list into another list and we are going to use add all method to copy a list into another list and we are going to use collections.copy method to copy a list into another list and we use java 8 and java 10 to copy a list into another list so these are the five different ways i am going to show you how to copy a list into another list all right so let us first see uh, by using constructor okay so let's go ahead and let's create a array list first so here i am going to create a list of string and here i am going to say i am going to create a list of roots array list okay and let's add some fruits to the fruits list here i'm going to add a banana and let's add one more fruit let's add an apple and let's add and let's add a few more fruits add mango roots dot add here let's add orange okay so let's keep it simple only add these uh, four ports to the fruit list now what we'll do is let's print this to the console let's give us a out here and just print this list to the console okay so now we need to use a constructor to copy a list into another list for that let's go ahead and let's create a one more list list of string and i'll say copy equals to new array list so here we are going to use a constructor right so array list and it's a constructor here and here we're just passing proofs to the constructor of array list here and now copy contains uh, you know uh, roots so let's go ahead and let's check that let's provide this out and print this copy to the console so let's go ahead and let's run this program yeah here we go so look at here so we have printed roots to the console and after copying a list into another list we have printed copy to the console here okay so this is how we can copy a list into another list using constructor so here just we need to pass a uh, array list to the uh, you know construct constructor of array list like this it's pretty simple right so this is the first approach and let us see the second approach so here what i will do i will just you know uh, remove these proofs I will just uh, comment out this and here I will remove this fruits and here I'm going to use add all method okay copy dot add all and I'm going to just pass fruits to the add all method okay so add all method we use to append all the elements in a specified collection to the end of this list okay so this is a fruits fruits list we are not going to append to the copy array list and here just we print it to the console so let's go ahead and let's run the program let us see the output yeah here you go so look at here the output pretty simple right so this is the another way to copy a list from one list to another list now let us see the third way uh, using collections.copy method okay so here let's create our list and just pass a size of the source here that is a fruits fruits dot size and whenever we use a collections.copy method the source list as well as the destination list should be identical okay it means that let me add few elements to this list a and just 
let me add b c and d so look at here fruits list contains four elements and this copy list should contain four elements so in this way uh, both the size of both the list should be identical and then and then now we can able to use collections dot copy method and here just pass a destination and here is the source and just print to the console and let's run the program so here copy method needs a destination so destination is copy and source is a puts and let's run the program and let's see the output yeah here is the output so here here we have printed fruits and here we have printed copy of fruits to the console like this so this is how we use collections.copy method to copy a list into another list so whenever you use collections.copy method make sure that the source and destination list size should be same and you should add the number of elements that you add in a source uh, you need to add a same number of elements in, uh, to the destination list as well like this so let us see how to copy a list into another list using java 8 so in case of java 8 we are going to use stream api okay uh, let me comment out this code and here list of string and i say copy and here we are going to use stream put dot stream dot and here i'm going to use collect and here i'm going to use collectors uh, here is the collectors which is in a java.util.stream package and here I'm going to use to list okay it's pretty simple so first we convert a list into stream and then we collect the output using collect method and then we convert stream into again a list by using collectors to list method and we store this list into here in a copy and let's print this to the console like this and let's run the program and here is the output okay so using java it is pretty simple so we can convert list into stream and again we collect the output and we convert a stream into again a list by using collectors dot to list method and let us see uh, using java 10 so java using java 10 is pretty simple so let me just comment out this so the fifth way is uh, using java 10 so you can use a copy up method uh, to copy a list into another list all right so in java 10 this method is introduced in a list interface to copy a list into another list all right so these are the five different ways to copy a list into another list in java so i hope you find this video tutorial useful thanks for watching i will see you in the next video